era now with new head coach Travis Steele. The former assistant coach for the team moved up after Chris Mack moved on to Louisville and coach joins us now fresh off his first run on the recruiting trail as the head guy. We were talking during the commercial break coach. Not exactly new for you to be out on the recruiting trail. You've, you've been at this at Xavier for a while now mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. Yeah, I've been here for 10 years. So yeah. obviously I know the lay of the land, knew all the players, knew all the people on campus, which obviously helps. You know, in my interview process, I said, hey, this isn't my first 30 days on the job. It's my next 30 days. I like that. Just because yeah. I knew everybody already that was in place. Yeah. So it, it must be helpful in all areas of taking over a head coaching job when you've worked so closely with somebody like Chris Mack for, for so long. Yeah. I mean, I, number one, I'm really grateful for the opportunity he gave me and Sean Miller gave me as well. Mm -hmm. um, learned a lot from him. And learned a lot. You know, I'm going to be my own guy, though. I'm going to be a little bit different. Yeah. How? Uh, how will How? you be different? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think my, our personalities are different. Um, you know, I'm going to have a little bit more of an open door policy with our guys. Um, and it's like I told those guys when I first had our team meeting, you know, I'm going to be the same person, even though I'm the head coach now. I'm not all of a sudden going to change. I'm going to love them. I'm going to care about them. I'm going to hold them to a very, very high standard. I'm going to push them to, you know, and be really invested in them as individuals. Yeah. Oh, only fair to mention, again, totally biased, class of 96 kind of guy. So I'll ask the question this way. Taking over a program like Xavier, truly, you look at the past 10, 15 years in Division One, NCAA, college basketball, you're not going to do much better than the Xavier program in terms of success. You're the head guy now of that program. How does it feel? feels incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a Big East program. Obviously, it's one of the premier conferences in college basketball. Xavier, obviously, we were a one seed last year in the NCAA tournament. Big East regular season champs the year before in the Elite Eight. Been to 12 out of the last 13 NCAA tournaments. We got to keep that going. Yeah. You know, we want to keep on graduating our players. We graduated 106 straight seniors in a row. Awesome. That's great. Back to 1986. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to develop men that are going to be responsible. You know, out, out in society, and then obviously win as well. And there's some things we got to do. We, I would love to win a Big East uh, championship conference title, the tournament um, in Madison Square Garden. Yeah. And obviously, we'd love to get this thing to a Final Four, a national championship at some point. Yeah. Is there, is there like one or two key things that you think have to happen to jump that hurdle? Yeah, I think we got to keep on taking recruiting to another level. And that doesn't always mean, hey, get the higher ranked player. Uh, just getting the right fit that fits our culture as Xavier and, mm -hmm. and fits what we're about. Well, I think last season's team really showed that when you've had time to develop guys. You had some incredible seniors last year, uh, guys who are no longer with the team. But you've already started replacing some of those guys with people who can have an effect next season. you got some, some grad guys who are coming in who will be able to be on the team transferring in next year. Yeah, it's a loophole that came about probably about 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, where a guy can transfer and play right away. And we've had three guys. Karen Cantor was that way for us last year. Yep. Malcolm Bernard the year before. So we've taken three guys. Zach Hankins, a six foot eleven kid from Ferris State, who uh, was Division Two National Player of the Year. And then Ryan Wellage, who's from Greensburg, Indiana, about 50 minutes from here. Yeah. Um, he's a 6'9 shooter from San Jose State, averaged 18 a game last year. And then Kyle Castlin from Columbia, who averaged 12 points per game on the wing. So those guys will add experience and add a lot of depth to our team. I know you're going to take some time to read more about this later today, and I'm, I'm kind of taking you off guard maybe, but uh, Condoleezza Rice made some announcements this morning about that NCAA commission. And one of the things she said was that um, she wants to see the college track and professional track be separated. No more one and done. That's not something you do at Xavier, but what's your take on that? I think it's good. I think it's the right thing. If it, just for example, if there's a Joe Smith that comes out of high school and wants to start working, guess what they can do? They can, they can start, start working. working. So yeah. it just makes sense. Um, I think that's the right move. I think there's a lot of other things, and I haven't read everything yet right? because it was live streamed on our way in here, <laughs> but um, I'm interested to kind of read up on it a little bit more and, and see what all they have to say. Talked about the recruiting class a little bit. Talk about the guys that are coming back next year that were on the team last year. Yeah, I mean, guys are working really hard, you know, really excited. I think Quentin Gooden's going to continue to take a bigger step forward. Yeah. You know, last year he was hurt basically all off season. Um, I still thought he took a big step forward from freshman to sophomore year. Um, Paul Scruggs, I thought, improved as much as one player that I've seen at Xavier in my 10 years from the beginning of the season to the end of the season. He improved dramatically, and I think he's going to take a big jump. Same thing with Najee Marshall, who's obviously Stuff. all freshman, all rookie team in the Big East. I think he'll take a big jump. Kaiser Gates will be a senior for us. Mm -hmm. Um, and then obviously Tyreek Jones, who I think is the man in the middle. He's the enforcer. Big man. You kind of look like him. <laughs> oh, you flex. I saw you flex. You know, I tried not to be a walk on while I was there. It didn't go so well for me, coach. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we're really looking forward to the Travis Steele era at Xavier University and wishing you all the best. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you very much. It was so coach, nice to see you. Coach. We'll, see, we'll see you over at 10,000 a few times, I'm sure.